In this video, we're going to be looking at turning short round. You can think of it as, as a maritime equivalent of a three point turn. Just like in a car, you would use this manoeuvre when you need to turn round in a limited space, for example, a, a river, port, enclosed dock system, or something like that. The first thing you're going to need to know is which way your boat naturally likes to turn. So the direction of transverse thrust or propeller walk. As a quick recap, transverse thrust depends on two things, the propeller rotation direction, so whether you're right or left-handed, and whether you've got a fixed or a controllable pitch propeller. Whether it's right or left-handed, you look at your propeller from a stern and see which way the top moves when you're running ahead. So if it's spinning clockwise, the top is moving from left to right, you're right-handed. If it's moving from right to left, so like it's anti-clockwise, then you'd be left-handed. Next, we need to think of what happens when that propeller runs astern. So this is going to vary depending on whether it's fixed or controllable pitch. If it's right-handed, so it's spinning clockwise, and it's a fixed pitch, it's going to have to spin the other way, so it's going to start turning anti-clockwise to run astern. If it's a controllable pitch, however, when it's running clockwise running ahead, it's still going to be running clockwise when it runs astern, because it's the pitch of the blades that changes, rather than the actual direction of turning. Anyway, once you've worked out what direction it turns when it's running astern, you can use that to work out which direction your stern is going to move from the transverse thrust or the propeller walk. Again, just look at the top of the blades. If those blades are moving from right to left, it's going to be pushing your stern to the left, to port, when it's running astern. Or vice versa, if it's running to the right, so it's spinning clockwise when it's running astern, your stern is going to walk to the right, and it's going to induce a turn in that direction. So a fixed pitch right hand propeller, which remember is going to be spinning clockwise when it's running ahead or anti-clockwise when it's running astern, is going to tend to walk your stern to the left. A controllable pitch right hand propeller is also going to be spinning clockwise when it's running ahead, but it's going to be spinning clockwise as well when it's running astern. So it's going to tend to walk your stern to the right. If you look at your boat from above, if your stern wants to walk to the left, it's going to mean your vessel naturally wants to turn to starboard. And vice versa, of course, if it wants to walk to the right, your vessel wants to turn to port. So whichever way your stern wants to turn, you need to take advantage of it when you're turning short around. If your vessel wants to turn to starboard, go with it, let it turn that way. In this demo, let's assume we're on a fixed pitch right-handed vessel, so it wants to turn to starboard. We'll line ourselves up on the port side of the approach as we're coming up to the turning area, giving us lots of room on the starboard side to do the turn. As you make your approach, let your speed reduce until ideally you're stopped in the water as you're ready to begin. Remember, we're wanting to turn, so any headway is going to be a hindrance. The first step of the actual manoeuvre is to put your helm hard over, so in our case to starboard. The reason we're doing the helm over first is because anything other than hard over is going to be inducing more headway than turning. So we want the helm all the way over, so as much as possible of the energy is going into the turn, rather than building headway. Next, we want to give a good kick ahead. You know your vessel, so judge what is most appropriate. On, on some, it might be dead slow and that's enough. On others, you might need up to half a head to induce any sort of turning momentum and, and things like that. So you're gonna to have to judge it on your particular vessel. The vessel should start turning and then building headway. The turn is what you want, so use that, and once the headway starts to build, cut your engine, stop the engine. When the engine's stopped, return the rudder to midships. Again, remember, we need to wait for the engine to stop, because if we return the rudder to midships before the propellers stop turning, we're just going to be building up even more headway. So let that engine stop, then return the rudder to midships. Now you'll find that we're sat in the water with the rudder midships and you're just drifting ahead, so run the engine astern to kill that headway. Just do a good kick astern, it might be half astern, something like that. Transverse thrust is going to kick in, but because we knew what it was going to be, we lined up at the beginning, it's going to help us do the turn, so it's going to continue that turn to starboard by lifting the stern up to port. If you've got ample space astern of you at this point, just keep the engine running backwards, it's going to give you more leeway for the next kick ahead. If you're quite tight on space, of course, just kill the headway and then stop your engine after that. Next, you want to get that helm back hard over to starboard, and then you'll want to do another kick ahead. You want to keep that turn going with these hard to starboard and kick ahead. If you need to, then you stop your engine, you repeat the process where you come astern to kill the headway ready to do another hard to starboard and carry on round. 
If, however, your bow is already round and you're clear to run ahead, where you've got the hard over to starboard and you're doing the kick ahead, you could just ease your rudder and slowly come back onto your track where you're going back down the river. You're going to have to judge this depending on your ship. They all handle differently. Some of them will come round with just a cycle of two hard over kick aheads. Others might take five or six. You might just literally end up shuffling back and forth. It's exactly the same as it is in a car. Sometimes you'll get round where you just do literally a three point turn. Otherwise, it could end up being a million point turn and you just take ages to get around. Either way, that was turning short round, the maritime equivalent of a three point turn. If you learned something from this, I'd love it if you hit that like button and consider subscribing and turning on notifications. You'll see whenever I post new content, which I aim to do every week. Also, don't forget to let me know if there's anything you'd like me to cover. The best way is to join the community on Patreon so you can message me directly. Otherwise, leave a comment on any of my videos as I do my best to read them all. Until next time, thank you for watching and goodbye.